Welcome, Gemini. Okay, so we're going to look at what it is that you need guidance with. And we're going to be using the Avalon Magic Cards, Wild Child Oracle Cards. And these cards here that I don't know um, the name of because I was given them years ago. And um, they came in a box and it was with a book about tarot and I just don't remember the name. I don't remember the name of the deck. I know there was a name to the book, but I don't know if there was even the name of the deck. But anyway, so we're using these. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, three cards for Gemini, please. Gemini. Okay, we've got one card out here. Okay, and two more cards for Gemini, please. Interesting. Okay, Gemini. This card here, it's got writing at the back, which I will read, but I like to see what I get first sometimes because, and it doesn't often correlate with what the writing is, but that's okay because it gives us more messages, right? The white horse is really standing out at me, and I always feel like white horses are quite magical and spiritual, honestly. I've got these two crows flying above here in opposite directions. It's kind of representative of the two twins of Gemini, right? I wonder if some of you are needing a bit of a break. It's kind of like they're hiding from the crows, in a sense, but they're visible as well so yeah um what does this say surrender yourself to the flow of life and see how you can influence your future keep moving forward and your life's purpose will manifest Ooh, cool okay i'm gonna leave these other two here and start with this one interesting surrender okay let me just okay Two cards for Gemini for that card. There's no name for it. So, um, but yeah, surrender yourself to the flow of life. Okay, we've got this card turn up here. Interesting. And see how you can influence your future. Your future. Keep moving forward. And your life's purpose will manifest. This like. when Okay. So. This card here. Vision has popped up. And it reminds me of the horse's eye. Even though the horse's eye isn't blue. But I'm noticing the. Kind of like the hair there. Above the eye. Reminds me of the horse's mane. So it's really about. The vision isn't it. So maybe, you know, maybe it's the case that you had a certain vision for your life. And you actually need to just surrender to see where life takes you. As opposed to having a vision and this is where I'm going to go and what's going to happen. That maybe you just have to let go with the flow go with the flow keep moving forward and your life's purpose will manifest so it's and that's the thing I guess our purpose is already written in the stars right it's like that destiny and that's what we agree to before we came here um so yeah interesting vision two cards but oh, we've got one card jump out but I didn't request what I wanted so I'm going to put that back it was the king of hearts I'm putting it back. If it's meant to come out, it will. Two cards for vision for Gemini, please. In relation to surrender yourself to the flow of life and see how you can influence your flute. future. Future, I went to say it again. Keep moving forward and your life's purpose will manifest. Okay, so we've got the two of swords here. We've got the two of hearts here and the wheel of fortune. I kind of feel like, Gemini, that I think sometimes we get in our heads a little bit about what should I do, what is this, what does this mean, and um, which direction I am going in, right? Um, 
And I feel like with this Wheel of Fortune coming up here, with these Two of Swords and the Two of Hearts, I feel like we spend too much time focusing on those things. Um, it's, and, and this is the thing, right, with the two crows here and also being a Gemini, with one twin going saying one thing and the other twin saying the other thing, it can be very hard to decide, which is why Geminis can be so indecisive, because there's two sides to the coin, right? Um, and, yeah, I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like it doesn't really matter which decision you make because um, the purpose of your life is always going to remain. That's not necessarily, well, it's not going to change as you go along your path. So I feel like you're always going to be taken back to the path of the purpose of your life. Okay, um, so whether that's in, um, you know, this is, this is also, you know, about, um, especially if this is to do with relationships, but I also feel like it's to do with whatever is in your heart with this Two of Hearts coming up here. And I just love where we've got the Two of Swords and the Two of Hearts. So it's like being in two minds about something that's in your heart. And that could be anything in your life. Okay, work, your family, your friends, your um, this could be within your home, this could be spiritual, wherever your heart is um, focused, whatever your heart is focused upon is what this is about. Okay, and that can chop and change throughout our lives. Okay, we have flight here. And I feel like this is about you being open to move forward, open to allow yourself to take flight. Okay, and that can be really scary and you can feel very vulnerable um, when you are needing to do that. But um, I do feel like this is necessary for you to do. Um, there may be something when you were younger that you really, really wanted to do. Um, and that is something that you could look at pursuing. Okay, um, but... The other thing I want to say about this is some of you may have that natural, you know, in the in the face of um, something challenging or in the face of something scary, your natural instinct may be to flee. Um, and I feel like maybe this is something that you need to look at, okay? Because I feel like you've been fleeing um, from things that are actually meant for you and um, because they seem harmful to you um, but in fact that's just um, just because you feel vulnerable because you have to open up and yeah so give me two cards for flight for Gemini let's look further into this see what other messages there are here for you Gemini okay these two popped out Okay, we've got the Eight of Swords. This is you being in your head about things. <laughs> okay, this is you um, kind of like keeping yourself locked away, keeping yourself in the self-imposed prison um, because of your fears. Okay, because you're afraid to step out of that. Um, and some of you may actually feel like you're stuck, uh, but you're not as stuck as what you think. You just believe you are. Okay, and um, yeah. There is a way out for you, Gemini, but um, it's sort of like being so in your head about it that you can't see that clearly. Uh, so this is something that you kind of need to be open to. Um, so, you know, open to allowing yourself to move forward, okay? Um, it's sort of like the surrendering. You need to surrender to this flow of life okay um we've got the world as well yeah and this is things turning around actually i'm pretty sure you only been the third sign in this round but pretty sure each um sign has had the world i could be wrong about that but there's this sort of completion of a cycle and um and i feel like gemini it's time to move forward here and um I tell you what, if we haven't had the world and everything, it's definitely been the beginning of a new cycle. 
So I feel like something big is happening for everyone, really. Um, and of course, still being in your season as well, right? There's this opportunity for you to create. What is it? What What do you want to head towards? Um, and, and not really deciding on what that is, I suppose being open to travel that whatever that is, okay? So the next card here we have is these two dragons here and I feel like this is it's sort of representing this yin and yang symbol and the good and the bad and the ugly and the beautiful within us, you know, the things we want to see, the things we don't want to see. The things that we don't want to see is actually where the lessons are and where more learning happens than what we do want to see. But I love that there's a white dragon here, especially with the white horse here. This is very interesting to me. And I feel like this is sort of like there's this purification um, of the, the darkness that can be um, that, that can be overshadowing our lives at times so yeah um let's have a look what it says here oh i had it upside down <laughs> anyway <laughs> let's just ignore that okay so <laughs> do not look for validation in others be uniquely you and follow your path yeah man 100 percent. this is all about you gemini and your path yeah not what anyone else wants or what they feel you should or shouldn't be doing. This is about you. And um yeah. And and like I say though, that can be hard for a Gemini because you know there's this mate, you should do this, oh no, you should do that. And you know, so I, I, I wonder if this, you know, surrender yourself to this flow of life is really um so that the twins don't um you know get in your head and be like, no, 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 don't do that, you know. Just let it happen, um, which can be really hard to do because that can be scary. Um, okay, so hang on. I need to not shuffle before I'm ready. I tend to do that. Okay, so two cards for that card. It has no name. Dragon card, maybe. Um, for Gemini, please, do not look for validation in others. Be uniquely you and follow your own path. Gemini, Gemini, love these cards. Okay, so, Root, this is called Root. Okay, so, I feel like this is your sole purpose. Um, I feel as though, Gemini, you've had to come through some really hard times to get to where you are now. Okay, and I feel as though you've grown as much as you can and you've produced as much as you can. Okay, it's now time to replant yourself, so to speak. Okay, new roots need to be growing. Okay, a new tree needs to um, blossom. And um, yeah, I, I really feel like, yep, the path, it can be tough and, you know, it is a journey. And so there's always, you know, really... Um, tough times and really easy times along any journey okay that is really the journey of life but um with this one I feel like it may actually be different because this is asking you to let go and let life take control and so what happens what will happen Gemini when we do that will it be different this is a way to find out is to actually do it okay um yeah, we also have the labyrinth here, but I'm going to go into that in a minute once we've looked at root here. Okay, so two cards for root for Gemini, please. And I guess the thing is that whatever it is that, um, you know, with us going and surrendering to this flow of life, Really, keeping our mind positive is going to determine the flow of that. So um, I think that we need to really make sure we have um, that, keep our focus here 
um, as to what's going on up here um, so that the direction and the course of the um, of the flow um, is determined by what is going on up here not in the sense that we decide where we're going and what's going to happen but more in the sense of what it is that we're putting out there um, because we will only manifest um, the vibration that we are emitting okay so yeah we've got one card for root but it's upside down but I'll get one more card for that okay excellent prince of hearts yeah learning what it is that we want to put in our cup because um, that ultimately is in our control okay um, and the prince of hearts he'll play around with different things and maybe try to put a um, you know he might try to put a rock in there and that's not really what the cup is for okay the cup is really to hold um, emotions but what kind of emotions do we want negative um, you know emotions in there or do we want positive emotions so what is going to keep the cup you know we don't want it to be all muddy and start to you know get all mossy and moldy and yuck we want to um, have that a crystal clear um, substance in there right we want it to be healthy we want it to be long lasting so this is something that you can learn you know and really start paying attention to those thoughts and, and imagine those thoughts going into your cup right um, and do you want those in your cup and that might just help you to decipher and sift through what it is that you're actually thinking okay um, so yeah the magician has also popped up here, which I really love because this is the um, ability for you to create whatever you want. This is this manifestation card, okay? But the other thing with the magician is that I do want to say that be careful that your mind's not tricking you, okay? And that you're getting sucked into something that isn't necessarily the case, you know? And that could be particularly with the direction um, that you're going in. You know, and it might be like your mind's going, what the heck are you doing? Why are you listening to this lady? And why are you surrendering to this little load of crock? Um, but the fact of the matter is you're here for a reason um, because this is what, you know, this flow of life has led you here to this moment right now. So, yeah. Okay, so labyrinth. This is weaving your way through the maze. Um To the truth of who you really are, right? To the truth of who you really are. Sorry about that, Gemini. Um, okay, so um, this is not taking direction from other people and, and listening to them about, oh, go this way and you should do this and you should do that. This is uniquely your path right like the card says so um you know every time you take a turn don't look to other people to see like is this the right turn this is what i should be doing just let your instincts allow you to move forward okay so two cards for labyrinth for gemini please got the king of wands one more card for labyrinth for gemini We've got, we've got two cards pulled out here, and I don't feel right about. Now it's all going crazy. Okay, so one more card for Labyrinth for Gemini, please. Thank you. Okay, so the King of Wands. Um, see, he hasn't let anyone else influence which direction he wants to go, and he's gone in the direction that he knows, and his soul. Is right for him this is why he is the king okay he has absolutely um, <laughs> it's like all these interruptions right now hang on a minute anyway I need to carry on this is just the neighborhood we live in honestly okay so yeah he um you know he he knows what he stands for he knows his purpose he has no doubt about that he has learned to let life um he's surrendered to the flow of life right and this is why he's got to be king because he has done that so this is 
this is he he led his way there through the labyrinth by doing that okay so um this is that energy that's really important for you to embrace um the star also is um popped up here and I really love this because I feel like this is this guiding star leading the way right this is this faith having faith <coughs> um having faith that the path that you follow is is the purpose that you are here to live okay because um I feel like there's so much doubt that goes on for you Gemini that um that's kind of like steered you in directions that you maybe weren't meant to go in but you'll always come back to the path that you're meant to be on always okay so yeah okay so this last card here we have these two lovebirds having a bit of a nookie um feel like this is this natural love you know a real natural state of being which is love okay so love always supports you and aligns you with your true purpose yeah I love how these are all about your purpose and your path and this is just great how it's all blending in sorry Gemini okay so this this is about you coming into your heart space and um, and allowing love to lead the way. Uh, because ultimately, you know, whatever direction you go in, feel it in your heart. Um, and if, especially if there's outside influences, really feel it out with your heart and see what it is that you truly want to do and, and not focus so much on um, what's going on in here or outside of here, okay, coming at you in that sense, okay. So... Right, so love always supports you and aligns you with your true purpose. Two cards for Gemini for that card, please. Two cards for Gemini. Shadow. And Crescent. Whew, interesting. Ah, okay. Shadow, see the shadow that that um, hands are making here. And I feel like what this is saying is actually that not as everything is as it seems. Um, th seems the <laughs> um, things can be very appear very scary and it can appear dangerous, but when you truly look into it, it's not as bad as what it seems. So be aware of that. I feel like sometimes our fears overpower. Um, our ability to move forward so um, just be aware of that there Gemini okay um, and the thing is that as we travel the path not everything is going to be um, visible and it we may see something in the shadows that looks like oh my god there's some boogeyman there and it turns out just to be you know the lamppost a shadow of a lamppost or a letterbox or something like that right um, but we are going to go down the road and you're not going to be able to, you know, this is at night time, um, you know, you're not going to be able to see over here and over here like you would be able to in the daytime. So, you know, I just do want to say that not everything is as it appears and use your instincts, okay? Use your intuition, um, use your heart uh, to lead the way and that will tell you when you need to kind of duck down and um, take shelter or whether you can proceed forward. Okay, so two cards for Shadow, for Gemini, please. In relation to this reading, that's one card. One more card for Gemini. Thanks. Okay. <clears throat> Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords, yeah, man. Stand in your truth, right? Remember who you are, Gemini. Remember who the if you are. Okay, walk your truth. Walk the truth of who you truly are. Because, um, you know, you have transformed um a number of times i feel and um i feel as though um it's time now it's time for you to really step into your power be honest with yourself you know be totally honest with yourself the other thing i want to say about this because we've got the seven of swords here and um i want to say gemini that just be aware that there's um that you're clear in what it is that you um 
need to communicate and um, there could be some miscommunication going on here why is cook it crossed okay um and i kind of feel like actually with the shadow make sure you know the truth before you um make any like just be discerning about what um, information is given to you is what i want to say here yeah very interesting okay crescent we've got the crescent here see this new beginning here i love this um and when when the it's the crescent the moon is you know in this crescent phase or the new beginning phase the shadows are um you know there's not much light to lead the way so it can be really quite dark out um so i feel like this is where where things are at for you right now nothing seems apparent okay so yeah um okay so i feel like i want to put that back because i haven't requested i want crescent two cards the crescent for gemini please thanks i need to get in the habit of doing that okay so the king of hearts ah love it and the hierophant <laughs> okay there's something here that is divinely orchestrated from the heavens been sent from the heavens okay um i do feel like you've been guided um very strongly i feel like this is important to as i've said to tap into this intuition and your instincts okay because i feel like also your higher self um, is there to lead the way okay I feel like this is representing you surrendering and allowing yourself to be guided okay the king of hearts um, with this guy he um, he knows his limits he is a very generous man he's emotionally mature okay um, this could be uh, somebody coming into your life um, to help you to help guide you okay to help lead the way could even be for some of you um, a relationship okay could be marriage for some of you but what I want to say about this ultimately really it's so funny because I keep going to say this and I keep getting giving getting other bits of information chucked in there but say this and say that and say that um, but what I want to say is that the king of hearts he um he knows his limits of how much he can give to people he knows when he's spent his energy okay and he will only give what he has available he will always keep himself replenished to the point where he can continue on he won't waste um not waste that's the wrong word but he won't use all his energy um by giving to other people he will always make sure see especially with this prince of hearts here see he knows we've got the two of hearts here too yeah so uh, yeah okay so you know this is the difference between the prince and the king okay the prince is learning um what to keep in his cup what to put in his cup and um how much to leave there he'll go and spend it all on um people and realize he's got nothing left in his cup and he needs to re re you know top up his cup again or you know actually pour into his cup from the beginning he'll need to start again so once you know he's at the king's level he realizes that no what he needs to do is keep his cup maybe half full or three quarters full um that he has this amount to spend um for other people to give to other people but he'll always keep enough in for himself and i feel like this is really important for you gemini okay um so yeah and this is this is about your time this is about your energy this is about your love this is what you do for other people you know this is keeping enough for yourself so that you're not getting um drained and you're not getting um everyone sort of taking everything from you that they can to fill up their own cup and you're left with nothing so this is this is very very important so yeah interesting interesting read here gemini um i quite like that uh so yeah gemini 
this is all about you and your path, man, um, which is pretty exciting. You know, what is your your true purpose? You know, and if you're not sure of that, that's okay because life is going to lead the way anyway if you allow it, surrender and allow it too, okay? Because um, remember also to come into your heart because what does it say? Love always supports you and aligns you with your true purpose. So, yeah, I'll allow that to happen, Gemini, because that is that is pretty exciting, and that's exactly what the King of Hearts has done. And that's why he's the king. Okay, Gemini, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.